Oh, the horror. The things I must share with you tonight, my friends. Tis horrific. That's right. We're going to check out an interesting Instagram that was released by Guillermo de Toro. I'm so excited to share this with you guys. I hope you're as excited as I am. Uh, there was a 2011 adaptation of HP Lovecraft's At the Mountains of Madness that Guillermo de Toro was working on. If I remember correctly, Tom Cruise was a part of this. Let's take a look at the article itself and... Uh, we're gonna we're gonna re watch and react because <laughs> i can't i can't believe that this slipped under the radar for so long so guillermo del toro reveals horrifying at the mountains of madness visual effects apparently this this movie was axed in 2011 and he dropped some visual effects footage it's i mean i'm hoping this kind of reminds me of the deadpool thing where Deadpool got dropped and people were like, oh my god, I have to see this. So share this with your friends. Get the noise out there because this could be really exciting. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with the story, at The Mountains of Manus is a science fiction uh, novella. Well, probably the most famous thing that H.P. Lovecraft ever wrote. Uh, it was written in March or February of 1931. And it was not actually released. Uh, it's interesting because it details an, an, a disastrous expedition to Antarctica in September of 1930. And it's pretty, pretty cool. It's kind of like this cosmic horror, like the unthinkable unknowable as they uncover more and more artifacts and, and things that are beyond understanding in Antarctica. But it's, I think it's a great story. I know a lot of people are excited by H.P. Lovecraft and the things that he that he did back in the day. Obviously, Tom Cruise and Stephen King's been influenced by him. Uh, I've talked about H.P. I've reacted to an older H.P. Lovecraft uh, thing uh, with Guillermo del Toro specifically. In fact, the last uh, Cabinets of Curiosity had two H.P. Lovecraft stories. The... Um, pikmin story and the house of the dream witch something like that we'll, we'll take a look at it but let's go to the guillermo del toro footage so apparently he dropped this on instagram and the clip was created by industrial light magic and now i, I have seen it and it looks like it might be all cgi maybe this was like a sizzle reel or something kind of like oh like let's get people excited about it uh apparently it was moments from starting to shoot but then it was shut down by universal uh because it was going to have an r rating and a 150 million dollar price tag that's a pretty hefty price tag i think if you could half that maybe you would be you'd have a good shot at it and and we're gonna take a good look at it um Back in 2021, Del Toro mentioned on Stephen King's podcast that he had signed a multi-year, a multi-project deal with Netflix. He was going to bring out some of his shelved projects, including The Count of Monte Cristo. There's already a great movie on that. I don't know why he would do that again. And At the Mountains of Madness. But he said he would aim for a script that was weirder and more focused than, than I guess the one that he originally had. I mean, this has just been sitting around for years. I really hope they make this, but... Let me see if I can blow this up for us. Let's see if we can make this any bigger. No, it's going to be the same size. Oh, well. Let's take a look at this together. And no, I don't want to watch it on this one. Let's watch it on this one because this one I think is better. We'll watch it and enjoy. Oh, it's going to, where is it? It's going to play on this one. All right, let's see what happens here. I love, I just love this. Oh my, good, oh my, it just keeps getting worse. Blah. 
<laughs> Here, we'll watch it again because I, I want to take it a little bit slower this time. And uh, let's take a look again. So, what I th I love this fact, this spot right here where at first you're not sure what it is. It, it has like this humanoid presence. And you're like, okay, is that like a weird dude sneaking up on him? Or like, what is going on? And what's interesting about Guillermo del Toro, this reminds me, it, it definitely has that, uh, um, oh my God, what's that movie that he did with the, with the, uh, the humanoid cockroaches? Like he has a fascination with creatures that per they have the perception of or they they seem to appear human and give off the perception that they could be humanoid or they're pretending to be humanoid to lure people in uh let's keep going and then the tentacles gotta have some tentacles oh this gets all beefy and here this part and this must be cgi like it doesn't look 100 percent real it looks like the deadpool footage that was leaked by ryan reynolds so I'm definitely, I'm intrigued. I, I hope this gets the excitement. Like, I hope people are, are interested in this. Ugh. It's just like keeps getting worse. I, as I love about it too, like it expands out and, and it has like those, like it's got claws and tentacles and there's even like a bottom part where maybe there's more. And this isn't even the worst creature from the story itself there are creatures that i i believe are, are much worse like the shogoths i mean it, it's pretty it's pretty cool and the man thinks he's getting his gun but nope it not only does it have claws it has tentacles oh that's too good it, we'll see uh cabinet of curiosity i don't know how well that did uh i i enjoyed it i thought it was good for for us horror fans i think it was a win i don't know if we'll get a second season i would really love to see this you know guillermo del toro seems to have like a pretty good deal with netflix and they're they're willing to spend money on certain things this pretty awesome i mean i can't imagine you know the the next best horror movie that the greatest horror movie that i've ever seen is the thing which was in antarctica so or the arctic circle forget which one but either way like let's go to the arctic let's see something horrific oh i want to see it so bad what do you think do you want to see it are you interested would you watch this i i'm, I'm thinking if you're a horror fan like i am you would watch this let's make it happen let's share this let's share go to his instagram like it let him know dude we need to see this we need it we need it in our lives i really hope it happens i'd love to see more hp lovecraft stuff get made be sure to catch here the hour reviews will kill you full-length audio podcast we live stream at 7 30 p.m eastern standard time friday nights come hang out with us some great stuff uh like subscribe helps with all that other jazz but as for me i am on to the next one